How's it Hi. going, buddy? Apparently, we're all going to stand here and stare at the greatness that is Bears uh, and Gate. Norgate. What the hell is this net MC that I built? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was trying to do for being a on-off gate for my uh, boiler. Basically, this would be like 90%. This would be about... 50% and when it was below uh, 50% here it would turn the boiler on when it got above 50% it would turn it off which is the problem I want it to not turn off until it gets to 90% and so NetMC thinks he knows of a way to make that happen so he's going to now dick with my thing here and see if he can get it to work <clears throat> and while he does that I'm going to show you guys some of the other stuff we've been working on we'll come back and see what he got to work so we have an extruder again this is our electrolyzer for getting lithium because we've used the entire tungsten vein worth of lithium also goes to silicon which we're going to need and sodium and then if you can see it hidden back there is my fermenter uh, let me break this out here there is my fermenter it's got mulch in it it's got fruit juice and it's got biomass and I have the apple coming in this pipe to this extractor that outputs the mulch with a conveyor module which crazy needs to get us a conveyor module for the actual box up there so the apples will come in uh, but she's been working hard on other things at the moment um, it automatically outputs the fruit juice through this pipe it automatically outputs the mulch through the uh, conveyor module through this pipe um, and we will make a lot more mulch than what we need. Eventually, I'll have to put a drawer on here to catch the excess. But for right now, that works fine. The upper pipe here, this one here, will be bringing in saplings from the farm. Which we're in need of some more pipes. We're, we have to get from there to here. And then that part will be done. And then it comes out of here via that pump. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I need to set to import. And then that will come down here to the distillery. It'll go from biomass to ethanol and then we need to get an actual tank built to store as a buffer and what we're going to do with that is we're going to put it into this basic diesel generator um, this is not meant to be a uh, this is not meant to create a large amount of power. This is just meant to give us a buffered amount of power to keep the big boiler from having to be turned on all the time. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to run this into probably a medium voltage battery box, which is going to be uh, right there beside our other one somewhere. I haven't decided yet where I put it, where to put it exactly, but that will keep the large boiler from having to be turned on all the time. Uh, Crazy's working on getting us two more centrifuges um, so we can set back up our methane and glue production that we had before. And then when she does that, we will hook this 
basic gas turbine up with this basic diesel and the two two of them will fill probably this medium voltage battery buffer right here and like I said that'll be going into our main up there to keep it full as much as possible so when we're only having to run these basic machines here they'll basically run off of those and then when we have to kick everything on or the EVF on then the big bad boy will kick on and give us a good amount of power um oh crazy made us an advanced centrifuge and a chemical bath that way we can run uh redstone or cinnabar through here a basic one would have done it but i decided to be cheap and quick about it and since we already had the Freaker. medium voltage and low voltage i tried to give that to bear he walked away thank you <laughs> um i figured it was easier just to stack them like that this is eventually going to be our centrifuge for processing um so we're going to set it up with one of these two probably this one um for the redstone and stuff but for right now that was just quick and easy because we need to get uh <clears throat> silver so we can finish up them pipes now where in the hell did i need this conveyor module oh i need it up here i am going to need another one of these eventually by the way for anybody that didn't know the fermenter is running off of greg tech power there's a transformer right there see it right there um, you can do uh, U to RF directly out of the wires you cannot do it the other way without changing a uh, config option which we are not going to change because we don't want RF to be able to make EU create RF from our EU so we don't have to have a bunch of RF motors and engines and stuff around just basically saves us from having to set up a bunch of forestry uh, machines alright so now we should be getting apples down into our extractor let's get rid of this jerk down here and head back inside. Hi, jerk. How are you today? Go away. And how's it coming, that MC? Uh, I've got the basic uh, RS latch set up. Okay. It's right here. And if you look here, it will save state. So there's your input. And it will, that side will stay lit until this side gets a signal, and then it will reset. Alright, now what about with that um, thing over there? It's going to have a full time signal coming yep. in, so is that going to work with this? Yes, uh, we'll need to put a pulse uh, generator off this line at your 50% mark. Mm -hmm. So it will just pulse this side and once it's pulsed it will set their state and it will stay set until it reaches the 90% and flips it the other way. Okay. I'm so glad you were here to help with this because I suck. Uh, you need a comparator for the pulse? Um, not sure. The way I do it, you need a uh, repeater and a comparator. And yes. Okay. Uh, let me make you one real quick. Did you show and the And by the way, the I tanks? have a noble bee. No, I gotta go down there and do that. Don't let me forget. Um, I have noble bees now. Congrats. I don't have any damn... Uh, I need three uh, redstone torches, please. I don't have any freaking... Uh, okay. What's the blue one between common cultivated? I don't have any cultivated. I skipped cultivated. 
That sounds about the way you do it. Which is about pissing me off because I want the cult so I can fight them and I can't get a freaking cultivated. It's pissing me off. <laughs> yes, I know because I don't purify my bees every time I get issues. Alright, so. We if didn't I say anything. Correctly, um, I need two pieces of redstone. I think is how this works. All right, you ready? I'm gonna hit this and see if it works. Okay, how did I screw this up? This is backwards, ain't it? That's how I screwed it up. I can never remember which way these things go. Well, it's not that way. Am I supposed to be... Damn it! Why can't I get a comparator to work today? I swear this is the way I normally do it. Redstone goes in. And it's supposed to... Oh! I gotta put that on... Four ticks if I remember correctly. Okay, now why is it staying on? Is it because of the Norlatch keeping it on? Yes, it will stay. Okay, so let me break this for a second. Make sure I got the actual pulse thing. Okay, so there's your pulse. Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead and turn the... Actually, yeah, that one. Okay. Okay, this is going to simulate your 90%. Okay. Okay. So here's how we're going to test it. Okay. And now it's reset. So. This is when it's at 50%, it will pulse. Mm -hmm. Close to. Can you hear them? Yes, yes, I can. <sighs> okay, and it will be right back. Okay, now why isn't the side staying wet? Mm, I don't know. This is your thing, not mine. We technically shouldn't need that the lever over there anymore, right? Yeah, this is just a test. Okay, so that will stay lit. Do you have another? Uh, let's see if this does it. That should be off. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Okay, so I guess the pulse wasn't long enough to trigger the um, RS latch. Ah, okay. So which... Is this going to be my output that actually goes to the boiler here? Yes, this will be your output that goes to the boiler. Okay. Now you're going to help me after the video's over bury this under the boiler, right? Um, sure. <laughs> and we need, uh, we need one more, uh, repeater. Um, we have a repeater already at the boiler. Okay, let's steal it. Um, we got to turn the boiler off before we steal it, though. We got to do a boiler. Um, how's, are you running anything right now that needs the, uh, 
We are increase. down to 700, so... 700,000. Okay. So you might want to just leave it on, take, steal it, and leave it on for a minute. Alright, can you keep an eye on it? Yeah. Sure, right. with everything else I am doing. Well, I'm going to try to keep an eye on it myself as well, but... There's no guarantee with only one of us watching it that it's going to get shut off when it needs to. And it ain't going to blow up, up if it doesn't get shut off. It's just going to waste our charcoal, so. Okay. There's no danger in it. So here's how this should work. Okay. So this bottom lever is your 50% mark that it would turn it on. Mm -hmm. And then as it fills up and it would stay on, it will trigger your 90% and it should flip back off. Okay. And then as it comes back down, this will go off because it's no longer 90% full. And when it goes down, well, this would stay off too. And basically, this will go off. The output here would have to be inverted. So when it's actually under 50, it would trigger. Oh, okay. So you'd have to invert this. So while it's above 50, it would stay off. But then once it hit below 50, it would flip it and give it a signal. So all you need to give me a redstone torch, and we'll just switch this out. Wait a minute, we're going to have to move this back one, though, right? Because we're taking one of the redstone powers away and adding a torch, so we actually need to have the torch here. Well, this is just... So, yeah, like that. So, alright. Let me get back over here so I can watch it all and run it through its paces again. Let's make sure everything's working proper here. So we have no output to the boiler now. Now we do. And then when it hits... Okay, so that would be on. Yep. And this is how it would be normally. And then that would be off when it hits 90. 90. And then as it drops, it would come here. And then as this drops, and it's no longer 50%, it would hit here. And then that would turn it on. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, you're inverting the output here for the 50% trigger, and then you're taking the output directly at the 90%. Okay. That looks like it'll work perfectly. Now, if we can just get this buried underneath Crazy's farm without breaking any of our crops and destroying our <laughs> farm mm. and getting us both murdered. Uh huh. <laughs> We actually should be able to get underneath this floor right here, and then we won't have to mess with underneath her farm. And we also have the area underneath the tanks to play with, too. Now, before I forget, I'll show you what Crazy's been working on most of the day today, other than making a few machines and... A few machines? I've made, like, six. That's a few. She's made us a oxygen tank. She's made us a sulfuric acid tank. And then back here we have our hydrogen tank, which I can't say I agree with the placement of, but it's there. Why? I had to put it directly underneath this pipe. That way you use less pipes. Yeah, but it's in line with the other one. I understand that, but you could have put it in line with the oxygen one, and we'd have put something else in this spot. It would have still been, been used the same. It. No, it would have used the same amount of pipes. It would have used one less pipe, more on this side of it than it is on this side. You ain't gotta move it. I'm not. I'm not looking. Okay. So what are you I'm just worried amount. that we're gonna have something cross is what I'm worried. Maybe all right. We've got pipes up there we still have to get out, but crazy's gotta get one of them uh tricorders so I can tell if there's any oxygen in that pipe, or we gotta make a whole bunch of steel to clear the pipes. Because I had an infinite loop up there when I piped it. 
and I think that's it for today. That's crazy. Can think of some. Oh, she had she got her uh, precision laser engraver remade and her advanced cutting machine. We don't have it uh, bringing the lubricant over yet from the brewing. She just uses the uh, tank to take it when she needs it, but it only uses one thing every one liter every thing, so it doesn't get used up very quickly. So now she can use her basic circuit assembler again to make circuits. Here. And now she's throwing machines at me again. And those are the two to set up for our methane and our glue production. And oh, one last thing. I've somewhat automated this. Um, it can't output the uh, cells. Um, but or can't output the iron but it will run a large amount of it this is for our yellow limonite and brown limonite this is how we're getting our hydrogen right now because we've agreed that we don't want to do oxygen and hydrogen from water because we don't here so we're actually using uh, yellow limonite we agreed and that? brown limonite uh, yeah we agreed that in like two videos ago oh and because I, because water is uh, infinite, <laughs> we're not going to just electrolyze. No, water I agree with you. I'm just we between me and you, not between the other two players on the server. Just I know. I agree, I agree with you. I'm just being a pain in the butt. Well, that's not anything new. <laughs> we do have water combs though so when to the point where I can make butt tons of water from bees then I won't have as much issue with doing it because then we're still getting water out of something um, I wouldn't even have a problem doing it out of the clay here which we're actually avoiding um, but we're gonna have so much hydrogen out of this it's not funny so I'm not even worried about it but anything else you got for us today, Crazy? No, unless you want to hook those up. Now I'll do that later because i got to decide where I'm going to put it and how I'm going to put it. Oh, she also got our HV disassembler made. And I think she said she's going to work on the two HV macerators today or tomorrow. So. Yeah, that's a chore. Yeah. But we're getting back to where we were. I gotta get stainless. And I kind of, I kind of like the way we've uh, went with our production here. Once we get those two macerators, this blob of crap is each, because um, we're gonna automate our ore processing a bit once we get them. See, and then you can use less pipes and move this over. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it further over this side, just so it would have been over where I want. No. Because <laughs> you know that's what I do. You're the one that went and took a nap, so you weren't here to say where you wanted the tank placed. So now you have to deal with it. Yeah. Uh, I think we gotta turn that boiler off. We're getting way up there. Are we? Unless you're not staying. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we're almost there. You want to do the stainless right now, or you want me to turn the boiler yeah, off? Yeah, I got to make stainless real quick. Hold on. That won't take okay. a split second. I'll put my clothes back on, because they're pretty close to full. So, have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. All right. So let me is get there... your redstone. Crap, I gotta and... end. Hold on.